So is that going to have to come up before they put the floor down? Oh, jeez. They don't ha absolutely have to, but yeah. So this, this linoleum is nailed down to get rid of squeaks, and I mean nailed down. And it's nailed into particle board. <laughs> okay, so now you know why it was nailed down. But nails don't do well for getting rid of squeaks. It took a lot of pilot holes and a lot of deck screws to finally get rid of the squeaks in the kitchen floor. In the process, I located the floor joists. Now it will be much easier to continue this process without all the experimental drilling. It's kind of ridiculous, but I don't care as long as it doesn't squeak. The screws with the next means there was no floor joist found. The happy face means, yay, floor joist. And when I hit those two, the squeaks disappeared. Happy feet. What's this stuff called? This is just a floor patch. There's different brands, different kinds. But I'm just going to use this here to ramp off this edge of old vinyl. What is the drying time of this? It really depends, but on this warm, warm day with particle board, this will be not dry, but it'll be firm enough in 30, 40 minutes. Wow. Those little holes from the nails and my screws, are they a problem? No, that's all little tiny dimples. Your, your laminate floor, your vinyl plank will never dip into that or Okay. Ever feel it or nothing. Can you believe someone actually chose that color of flooring? Back in the 70s, oh yeah. <laughs> I'm here, so might as well get it flat. Sometimes people will just fill this in with a piece of cardboard or well, just something to get that so your boards don't flop down. Now that I have a process down for removing the squeaks, the next room is this empty bedroom. But first I have to pull out the laminate flooring. contractor was to remove the flooring but I'm gonna fix the squeaks and it wasn't that difficult to remove and ask for a refund of that amount. I always go barefoot when I do this because shoes, rubber shoes especially, squeak. So what I've learned is that the particle board underlayment is nailed to the subfloor which is plywood but it is not nailed where the floor joists are located. So I had to do some experimental pilot hole drilling in order to locate the joists. Well, once I found them, and it took many holes, I marked the length and where I would like to put some screws to fasten the flooring down to the joists. And it works great. There are areas where the particle board is creaking independent of the floor joists. So I had a couple of shorter screws there to fasten the underlayment to the subfloor. And that seems to work good for eliminating those little squeaks. It's quite a process, but you know, I don't like squeaky floors, so I'm going to do it. I'm using two and one half inch deck screws for attaching the flooring to the joists. 
and one and five eighths inch screws for attaching the underlayment to the subfloor. And also there is more threading on the shorter screws to ensure that there is good attachment. For reference, I'm drawing a circle around the hole where the joist is. Then I put X's where there is no joist. The X's are where the shorter screws go to fill the hole. By screwing down the underlayment and the subfloor to the joist, I got rid of the major squeaks. But here's an area where there is too tight of underlayment. There should be a slight gap. As a result, you can kind of hear a creaking sound. I'm gonna put a couple of screws here right in between these nails. See if I can stop this scrunching sound. I'm not gonna drill all the way through, just through the underlayment. sinking with this large drill bit. I have to keep the all the hardware at the same level as the flooring so it doesn't interfere with the floating floor. Clean as I go. Too many processes here, I need to speed things up. That did it. Oh yeah. That should have done it. That did it. Perfect. Since this is a high traffic area, I'm going to add a second screw into the next joist just to make sure the floor remains secure from squeaks. This is already in the joist here. That's what my circle means. 16 inch on center. So just make a quick reference mark for drilling. Try my new uh, bit. Recess it enough. I like to put my weight on the flooring so it helps hold it down a little bit. That nailed it. Mark that with a circle. And these are X's for no joists. That sounds like a joist. So I'm gonna add at least one, maybe two, screws to pull down the flooring to the joist. This joist here is 105 and 5 8 inch. So add 16 inches to that, and we get 121 and 5 8 So let me mark this spot, and that's from the far wall. 121 and 5 eighths. Interesting that it almost aligns with these nails. 121 and 5 eighths. I'm going to confirm my measurements. I don't need any more holes than necessary. Okay. I'm going to confirm that I'm hitting the joist. Definitely. <clears throat> but I want to expand that. To accommodate the bigger screw. That should do it. This one's done. I'm going to make this about 10 inches. That's about right. Don't want it too close. Somewhere in here. Now I need to be 105 and 5 eighths inches from the wall. Okay. 
And then the second one will be the second joist. Check my notes. 121 and 5 eighths. Feels like it. Use my little wire probe. Yep. That's good. Countersink it. sound here between the underlayment and the subfloor. Nails are not good for fastening down the underlayment, especially when it's particle board. I'm going to put a couple of small screws here. Eight inches. I'm going to start finding and fixing the squeaks in this middle bedroom, what used to be a bedroom. Seems to be one joist all the way across. Should be fixed. This is a two by four framed interior wall. So that makes it about four and a half inches thick. So I will use four and a half inches added to the 12 on the other side as the starting point to find my next joist. So if my math is correct, 12 plus four and a half, 16 and a half inches. So the joist falls just inside of that sheet rock for the center point. The first joist should be about 15 and a half inches from the wall. I'm gonna do my first pilot hole right here. By golly, I think I hit it the first time. Test with my little wire probe here. And it's solid. Let's see if my luck holds locating the first squeaky floor joist. Which is right here. Half an inch less than the measured amounts because of the wall. Be a 79 and a half. I think I got it. Yep, looks good. Got this new countersink to speed things up instead of using a drill bit. Faster, more professional. Quickly, I hope I uh, wasn't just hitting air. Oh, <laughs> check that out. No squeak. I recessed it a little too far. I took care of the squeaks here, but it seems I was a little bit off where the joist was located. So I added a couple more screws a little bit further distance, and that seemed to take good. You really can't tell for sure from above. Good there. All right, 
Same Joyce. Let's work on this one. From the closet wall, I'm half an inch inside of the markings of 16 inch on center. From the wall in the room, it's three inches beyond the marks on the tape measure for 16 inch on center. And I hit it right here. So that's where I'm gonna measure it for the rest of the room. I'm gonna start at this end, right where the worst of the squeaks are. Three inches past 32, 35 inches. Three inches past 16, 19 inches. Got it at 19 inches. Got it at 35 inches. Countersink the holes. Boy, that squeak's annoying. A lot better. And add a few more screws about 10 inches apart. Those three screws made a huge difference reducing the squeaks. But I'm going to add some more screws about 10 inches distance just to make sure I'm pulling it down and keeping it down. Felt good. I think I hit the joists in each of those. All good. I'm going to use a two inch screw and this one seems the joist is closer to the sub four for some reason. All right. One more area I need to get that's right next to our picture window. A couple of joists here I think will take care of it. After I found the joist, I used 16 inch on center marks and a long piece of molding to draw these lines. They've worked pretty well for the most part. I'm gonna extend my pencil reference line of the joist location clear to the wall here, using this piece of molding for a straight reference. Hopefully it will hit the mark, but as always, I will drill a pilot hole to make sure that I get into that joist. 16 inch on center, following my previous line. Put my first screw right about here. That felt right, it's solid. Drill some more about eight inches apart. Okay, using two and a half inch screws to get through the part of the subfloor, it's plywood, and into the joists. These are deck screws. Oh yeah, that worked. I'm gonna mark it with a circle, meaning success into the joist. When I hear a squeak after fixing the major ones, I put a little piece of blue tape there to mark the spot. I got all the squeaks from the hallway into the dining room and the kitchen. You couldn't walk here without all kinds of noise. Yes, it was a lot of work, but uh, I'm very happy with the results.
What do you think, Sky? Lily. Lunchtime.